clean it. <laughs> what kind of poop do you think that is? I think it's deer. That's actually... Welcome back, everybody. Tomorrow, I'm taking my first trip, camping trip, with my son in the new truck. The Ram 2500 has had the same bed, I think, since like 2006, maybe 2007. Uh, that was one of the deciding factors to go with the 2024 model is everything that I have already built should easily go into this bed, the 2024. Previous truck was a 2016. There are a few changes though. I have a lot of electricity and gadgets back here. Uh, behind here, we've got some lights that I want to have exposed and we've got a 115 volt uh, outlet here. And then these here are for a fifth wheel connection. Several times a year I gotta use the back of this truck to do pickup truck stuff, like haul stuff to the dump. So I'm just gonna whack this out with a razor blade. I mean, I can make this look real nice. Like I said, I gotta be able to yank this out real quick. So I'm gonna put a slit in here for the cargo. Uh, whatchamacallit. has to fit perfectly is there's like a filler panel right here that creates a huge bed platform <laughs> right, let's see if the filler panel fits in here So if I need to get a sheet of plywood and I don't want to take all this out, I can easily put it across there, full sheet of drywall. Doesn't give me the full use of the tailgate to support it, but a lot of times you don't need it. Okay, so drops down. This will also hold two mountain bikes. That's what these are. I got this set up for three different kinds. Two electric mountain bikes vertical right there so I think I got a spot picked out on National Forest for us to go to tomorrow it should only take us an hour and 20 ish minutes I'm not sure what the snow conditions are gonna be it's on the other side of the Continental Divide the west side of the Continental Divide I live on the east side so it could be a completely different world when we get over there I'm hoping we don't have frigid temperatures like the last one that was not fun well it was challenging and that makes it worth it all right hopefully there's nobody in here we did see some campers just down the road got onyx hunt on the screen here lets us know that we're on national forest land a little muddy but there's a spot just around the corner that i like this is it it looks like it's drying up pretty good well a little bit of mud here but it's drying up pretty good still got quite a bit of snow right there all right here we are for those of you who have been following the channel may remember we were parked right here maybe three years ago and he were you even walking so that means it was four years ago he was just one and he still wasn't even walking yet and there was a massive massive forest fire just down the road it started started after we even got here and it blew up like crazy and we actually had to leave and we went to another camp spot oh wow, 10 miles up the road this is the new truck very similar to the last truck mega cab 2500 diesel this one is a limited longhorn edition this is the old cap the red cap is now blue and very similar setup as uh, you've already seen but this is how it's packed I've got this on an extension and it's our back porch so you can sit there take your boots off leave your boots here uh, it's really really convenient also works as a step to get up in there kind of just threw things in here I got lots of firewood guns tables backpacks clothes all sorts of stuff 
What kind of poop do you think that is? I think it's deer. That's actually moose poop. Moose? Moose. Big round turds like that are moose poop. We're almost to the creek. I can barely see it. We're trying to... Oh, I think I found it. Whoa, look at that. It's right there. A, a skeleton? I walked right over that. Ooh. Wow, look at that. That looks like a... Is that a deer? Went just like this. That's pretty cool. It's a smaller one. Could be a deer. I think that's the start of its pelvis right there. Those are rib bones. These are rib bones? Yeah, that's from a, a rib. Could be a bear. Could be a deer. Who shot it? Well, I don't know if it, if it got shot or if it died of natural causes. Or if an animal hunted, hunted it. Yeah. Or yeah. More. More. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> yeah. Bless you. Maybe a mountain lion got got a deer. Uh -huh. Oh, I see some more bones right over there. What kind of bone is that? Let's go check it out. Is that an eyeball bone? Oh, that is cut. That's definitely sawed right there. Sawed? See this? See how this is a straight line there? Yeah. Something sawed the pelvis in half. I think. I think this is a hip socket. Learning some survival skills. Coming through the woods. Hopefully he doesn't take a face plant. Oh, good. Looks like a spider. Good job. We made it. We made it to the to the creek. Think there's any gold in there? Yeah, I see sparkles. Yeah, act like an animal. Crawl through the woods like an animal. Let's go find those bones again, and that's where we. Make a left at the bones. bones. Yep, now we go through that snow. Well, this is something we have to be concerned about. Uh, that camper is like a permanent fixture here. He's got, you know, pallets out in front of it to get in and get out of it. They've just left it here. But, yeah. Uh, so we're just kind of surveying the area, make sure it's safe to to stay. We don't need some weird meth junkie coming in here at night. Right, we'll head back in a minute. See they got a pallet out in front of it. Alright, we're gonna head on back towards the towards the camper or towards the truck. So we are off exploring some other trails. My co-pilot says we should go down here and check it out. Believe it or not, I'm actually going to go into four-wheel drive high here. And, uh, Jesus, it looks deep. Think we make it? Yeah. Let's go for it. Oh, yeah, a piece of cake. Well, quite a bit more snow down in, in this canyon here. We are, as you can see, we're on National Forest. Hopefully we get to some dispersed camping soon. I don't think I'm heading down that trail. I'll find another one up here. I've never been here before. We are going... I'm going to put this in four-wheel drive just in case. We're going through a tunnel underneath a pipeline. I do see some National Forest Service sign up here. And... Uh, we got trailhead, trailhead, uh, two campgrounds this way. I think we're making it through this. I mean, look at the look at the size of that snow drift right there. Back it up. All right. Well, co-pilot sleeping and I'm going up to a place that I've been to before but it's usually packed full of local local people camping and there's nobody here today wow that is pretty cool 
quite surprising that no one is here. We got a nice creek right here that Junior can throw rocks in. This is pretty cool. It's not quite like an ocean, but that is a big river. It's a river and there's a bridge. We drove across that bridge while you were sleeping. cooking mess kit from Gerber. It is quite the extensive kit. Um, probably won't use it tonight unless we do heat up SpaghettiOs. But uh, tomorrow morning we're making a feast. That's if, if I pack the eggs. On what? We're going to make it with our new frying pan. But for tonight I think we're going with skewers. Now normally we just go find the stick but since I took the time to bring it, we're going to use these skewers here. Extendo, extendo skewers. Just going a little exploring while that fire burns down. Got quite a bit of snow still over here on north facing shadow areas. You think there's any uh, fish in there? No. You don't think so? I bet that water's cold. I bet there's fish in there somewhere. Don't roll it. I heard that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Try it again. Okay. All right, you're kind of jerking the trigger. Okay. Just go a nice, slow squeeze. Are we out? Like that? Go. Yeah. I think we might be out of out of BBs. Nope. You nah. had to use two fingers to pull that one. That's a little high. A little closer. Closer to the to the heat. Oh. Okay, get the marshmallows closer to the heat. Maybe a little closer. Uh, right, right around there. That'd be good. Mm -hmm. We just got our s'mores made. So good. Uh oh, got it on my hands. Almost time for bed. Sun's down, no rain. Brushing teeth, read some books, and in we go. Kind of see how we got our sleeping pads set up. That's it. Nothing too fancy. Let's hope we don't have any situations in the middle of the night. Hopefully it doesn't get too cold tonight. I did not bring the diesel heater. We just got uh, two sleeping bags, dressed pretty warm, got insulated sleeping pads. The weather forecast is around 37 to 35 degrees for the low tonight. I think we should be fine. See you in the morning. You say good night. Good morning, everybody. Wasn't very cold last night. Didn't even get really down to the dew point. 
Truck's not wet. Table's not wet. We did get quite a bit of condensation inside the truck, though. So, we're just waiting for that sunshine to come out. I'm going to start making breakfast soon. Go on some more morning adventures. You trying to get down off of that? You're going to have to learn to jump. 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 Onto the, Onto the ground. That doesn't look very comfortable on your legs. There you go. That'll work. All right, go find a tree. Good morning, camera. Huh? I said good morning, camera. We're going to be cooking breakfast for you using Gerber's new cook kit. They sent this out to me and I said I would love to try that. We're not doing anything too fancy, just scrambled eggs. Got a couple different lids, pots, bowls, big bowls, plates. Hey, you want to use these plates? Yeah. What color do you want? Uh, green. Okay. Man, it comes with everything. Fancy frying pan. Uh, We're going to make eggs. I want to turn this down. Lots of cheese in the eggs. Perfect. Sizzle, sizzle. Yeah. You can go get it. We're going to be eating hearty today. Here we go. I'm quite surprised. Didn't I stick can't. much at all. So if you guys are into camping like I am, um, this is a pretty good investment. I did order some less expensive versions off of Amazon based off of YouTube reviews. And uh, they were junk. I actually set them back. They came in a mesh bag, but they were just so flimsy and so cheap that they, I don't know, they just didn't feel right. This is very high quality stuff here. Uh, you might not need the high quality stuff. A lot of times I'm just using a little titanium pot and a tiny little camp stove. But if you are into car camping or even RV camping, this is a amazing set of Pots, pans, bowls, plates, utensils. Where'd my fork go? Look at that. Tongs. What did I see? What did you see? Yeah? Is it a grizzly? <laughs> it's a birdie. He wants to climb this hill here. I don't think he realized how big it was. Get going. You said you weren't going to climb to the top. Don't get your feet wet, though. You got to find a, a way up there. We got wolves, got bears, and mountain lions. So you can't leave them to go off and play by themselves. So they're strapped. What are you looking at? Yeah, the river's down there. Got quite the view up here. And we even picked up a little bit of cell phone service. Our camp is down at the very bottom, this ravine. And that stream is coming down through here. Gotta keep an eye on him. Make sure he doesn't go tumbling down the side. That's pretty cool. Well, we got the flag straightened up a little bit. Probably needs to be replaced. We got this light set up. That was our flipped over. And we're going to head on back now. We went a little further than I anticipated, but I'm glad we, we did. Now we got to make sure we can get down. We got to take this ridge line all the way down and back over. Ready? Let's yeah. go. So this is the magazine. It holds both the CO2 cartridges and the BBs. Keep it tilted forward a little bit. Use your thumb as a funnel. <laughs> yeah, you got it. You hit it. Good job. 
Nice shot. Okay, when you're ready, squeeze. <laughs> you got it. All right, everybody, that's the end of this week's adventure. We're going to be doing this every single month in, until we can't do it anymore. There's too much snow. Uh, also, every month, we'll be taking an RV trip with the rest of the family. We got really lucky with this camp spot. It's super clean. We left it cleaner than when we got here. We made a whole loop around everything looking for trash, and there was like two little pieces. So whoever frequents this camp spot regularly uh, takes very good care of it. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> There's an elk right down there in the water. I'm going to try to zoom in a little more. It's a long ways away. the view.